and his true ways may repent. God is insisting all church's leaders to tell the people his true word, not lies. Please repent and believe in true God. God showed me different ways that are making the people to lag behind and to move slowly. Number one, people are being made to believe in rosaries. There are some people who are being given the wrong doctrine such that they believe in rosaries more than they do to God. I wish the people would do this to know the truth and believe in Lord Jesus Christ before their departure from earth. God is so patient with you. He wants you to repent so that you may have eternal life. Number two, people are being made to believe in fake miracles. There are people who are being made to believe in fake miracles by false prophets. These false prophets are making people to be slow in believing in true God. You will see that in the future. Many people will not believe in God and doubt his existence. They will prove it scientifically and try by all means to travel in search for heavens physically using rockets. But let me tell you this, no matter how big the effort you will put, you will not see it with your physical eyes until the day of your death comes. You can do everything you can with your physical bodies, but spiritually you are far much behind. Number three, they do not want people to repent from their sins. There are preachers who tell people that we are already saved and you do not need to repent. Let me tell you the truth, no matter which church you go to, you need to confess your sins before God and he will save you. Number four, people are being made to believe in false gospel. Some church leaders preach false gospel to attract people, but in reality they are slow in terms of racing against time. As people, we are all racing against time. Remember how many were you in your family, in your area, and how many are left so far? How many people have died? Have you ever seen another day called 24 October 2022? It comes once and it does not repeat. It is gone forever. All this means we are moving towards end time and it is very fast approaching. Getting into the deepest part of the vision. God showed me a vision of school children being taught the word of God by a teacher. I know that this was symbolic and the teacher was symbolizing one of the angels. Children being taught by the teacher symbolized people will listen to the word of God when it is being preached. While being taught, one of the children asked the teacher a question and child said, how big is God? I was passing by the place and when I heard the child asking the question, I stopped and waited listening attentively to hear the response from the teacher. Then the teacher replied by giving an example as he said God is more than 80 kilometers tall. The teacher also said if you want to see God, you need to put the rope that was there at the place. The rope was different from the ro other ropes that we all know. It looked like tree climbers with green leaves projecting to the sky going above clouds. The teacher said we should pull the rope in order to see God. Pulling the rope is symbolic. It means praying and worshiping God in spirit and in truth, following his commandments and do all what he wants. The thickness of the rope was equivalent to the size of a bucket and the rope was made of tree climbers. I then started to pull the rope being helped by other people and the rope was coming down slowly while pulling the rope I started to see God's feet. I know many people will not believe me. I saw God's feet coming down wearing something like sandals and I stopped pulling the rope and kept staring at God. The people who were helping me kept on pulling the rope and this represented the people or believers whom I worship with and helping me to spread this true word of God. As they kept pulling the rope I started to see the whole body of God and now the feet were now close to the ground. I was shocked because during this time I saw a very huge man whom I cannot even describe in accordance to what I saw. I cannot believe my eyes but to tell you the truth my brethren, I saw God. I know this is very difficult for many of you to believe but what I can only say is that I cannot add or subtract anything from the things which I saw and those which I heard as well. If swearing was not prohibited, I promise you I could put my blood and life on the line for whatever I am saying to you and to prove that I am telling you the truth. I saw God. I saw the entire board of our God but at first I was not seeing his face because it was in the clouds. He then bent down to the extent that his face was less than 30 centimeters away from mine. I saw that he is lovely, huge, gigantic, handsome, and with him he has plenty of fresh air. He has no wings or anything strange. He said to me, Godfrey, 
Why is it that you always trouble me? I said to him, My lord, I am a sinner. I have wronged you so many times, but please forgive me. 